Jake, your mom said you were out here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yep. <sighs> Why? It's freezing. Yep, but, 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 but I have to see my, 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 my star. Your star? I bought one online. It was only $39.99. I get to name it, and it comes with a Ginsu knife. <laughs> wow. Well, what'd you call it? My star is better than your star. I don't have a star. No, th th that's the name of it. <sighs> oh, there are like a bajillion stars out there. How are you supposed to find yours? It won't be visible for a couple of hours. Only pr pr problem is, I'm so c cold. <laughs> I can't hold my star map s still. You're never going to find your star shivering like that. I know, I know. <sighs> It's time to call the Psy Girls. Psy Girls, I got a burning question for you. Let's see if you've got a hot idea. Aha! Every year on Madison Lake, they have an event called the Art Chanty Projects. It's like a carnival on ice, and artists create themes for their ice houses. This year, they asked us to work on the welcome shanty, and our job was to make it more energy efficient. Jane is one of the artists who created the welcome shanty. Hi, hey, I'm Jane, I'm a sculptor. She brought the shanty to Grace's house and explained it's hard to keep it warm. As you can see, we built our shanty to be translucent, so we could get heat from the sun during the day. And it has corrugated plastic on the outside and a one layer of bubble wrap on the inside. Jane thought that her ice shanty was too cold last year, so she asked us to figure out a way to keep more heat inside. We had to do a bunch of investigations to figure out how to keep the ice shanty warm for the people who are working inside. 